Fionn, great to chat to you. This is a, a fabulous story. How rare a find is this? Yeah, dinosaur eggs are, are relatively abundant, but out of those dinosaur eggs, very few contain embryos. And out of those embryos, most of them are fragmentary with the bones scattered around. But this one is extremely rare and it is extremely well preserved that we can see its posture. So how it lies inside the egg very clearly. Now, I understand it had been sort of just sitting there for a couple of months. Did it nearly go unrecognized? Yes, yeah, so it, it was. It was hidden in the storage in Yingnan Museum for about 15 years. So it is not until 2015, the creator of the museum sorted through the boxes and he uncovered these fossils again. That is amazing. So tell us why this is, you know, what you've been able to glean from now examining this embryo and the way it was sort of tucked in around itself. Yes. Yeah, so. The, the posture of this embryo is unique among dinosaurs, but it is very similar to what we see in a close to hatching modern bird embryo. So for example, if we use um, chicken for comparison, this embryo for its posture is very similar to, um, to the posture of a 17 day chicken embryo. And in chicken, starting from day 17, they will start to have some coordinated movement and on day 20, they will have achieved the final tucking posture. And that is a posture where the body is curled with its head under its right wing. And this tucking behavior is suggested to help the chicken to hatch successfully by directing and stabilizing its head um, when it is trying to crack the eggshell with its beak on day 21, which is the hatching day. That's amazing. So what does it tell you about maybe the, the relationship of dinosaurs to birds? Because is that something that's been commonly thought in the past? Yes. So because of their similarities in posture between this dinosaur embryo and modern day birds, uh, we suspect that this might implicate a similar pre-hatching behavior between these two groups of animals. And in academia, we we now accept that like birds are dinosaurs, and to be more specific, they evolved from a group of dinosaurs called theropod dinosaurs. And with our discovery, we show that among many like bird-like features observed among dinosaurs, we add that even in aspects-like prehatching behavior, they share some similarities. That is interesting. Um... This was found in China, obviously. Uh, how, what do you know about dinosaurs in China? Did they differ? Were there particular types of dinosaurs that were found in China? Uh, this embryo belongs to a group of theropod dinosaurs called Oviraporosaurs, and it was discovered in Ganzhou city of southern China. And if we talk about uh, Ganzhou, in fact, I would say it is a hotspot of Oviraporosaurs, because in the past two decades, we have about seven new species of Oviraporosaurs in Ganzhou alone. So, and that's why this is a hotspot not only for dinosaur skeleton but also dinosaur eggs. And and tell me, how closely do you work? Does China work with other international partners on discoveries like this? Yeah, so in paleontology, we usually work as an international team. So, for example, in this study, we involve um, scientists from a few countries and in a few institutions. And, not on, and this is not only about universities, but we also, um, for paleontologists, we work closely with museums so that we get access to um, the most updated fossil discovery. That's amazing. So are you hunting around that museum for a little few more eggs to check if there's anything similar? Yeah, that's our next plan because <laughs> like for this one, it was hidden for like 15 years. So who knows, maybe there are more well-preserved embryos hidden somewhere in that museum. Yeah, I think uh, you need to get the team on it. Great to talk, Fiona. Thank you so much. Uh, we do appreciate your time. Thank you.